Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. When you receive your spell box custom made for you, it will already be energetically and spiritually charged. It will have life blown into it. It will have an activation of the ingredients so that they are working together as a unified spirit, assisting you with your support, assisting you with bringing your goals and petitions into fruition. When you receive your box, it is okay to open your spell box. At that time, you can add a piece of your DNA or your personal effects. This means that you could add a piece of your clothing, a piece of your hair, some of your fingernails, and so forth. When you do so, you will be creating a stronger, magical link between you and that box. When you do this, you can then activate your box in your own way by holding it in your hands, placing your right hand above it, and sending energy or love into it while visualizing or imagining your goal, your end result, your petition coming to fruition. You will then want to place your box in a prominent location in your home, either somewhere where you're going to see it and think about it every day or on your nightstand next to your bed. And every day, or as often as you remember, you will want to hold your box in your hands and say a prayer or complete a visualization, say an affirmation, or send energy into the box, send love or emotion into the box while you visualize or imagine your end goal coming to fruition. And if you keep this on your night table, and you do this exercise in the morning when you wake up as well as at night right before going to sleep, then this can also become a part of your dream work. You may find yourself dreaming of how to bring your goal into fruition. You may find yourself receiving guidance about this goal, about this petition. You may find yourself receiving signs or being visited from a spirit guide who is willing to and able to assist you with this goal. There are many ways to use these boxes and it's going to depend largely upon you, what's comfortable for you, what works for you, and what you have a natural inclination towards, what feels right or what you are intuitively drawn to. Over time, you can remove ingredients from the box in order to cleanse them, in order to recharge them, or in order to recycle them or leave them as offerings. Um, this is going to largely depend upon the specific ingredients as well as your working understanding and what you're comfortable with. You can also add ingredients to the box over time that will assist with recharging it, reactivating it, or feeding it. When we say that we're feeding a magical item, it means that we are giving it an offering of sorts. We are giving it an offering which is energy that strengthens the item, that brings it to a higher vibration, that reactivates it back to the level that it was when we first created it. This could be oil, if you can do it in a way that's not going to make the entire box sticky and messy. This could be in the way of some fresh herbs sprinkled on top, perhaps some magnetic sand sprinkled on top. It could be in terms of a new paper petition. As you continue to work with your box and continue to bring your goal into fruition, you may have smaller goals along the way which need to be attended to as well. During those times when you find yourself needing to put in some extra effort for your larger goal, you may want to create an additional paper petition or a paper that you write your prayer on or a paper that you write an affirmation on and then dress this with oil and place it inside your box before working with your box. These are some ways to care for and to continue to work with your spell box over time. Please enjoy and please stay blessed.